Well, what do you get when you collect and submit nearly one million signatures on a petition to recall the governor of Wisconsin, Scott Walker? Well, you get a, an unprecedented historical recall election and um, this is something that we have never had and has happened very few times in all of American history. Um, in over 150 years of statehood, never has there been a recall of a governor and lieutenant governor, I might add. Well, the uh, media has certainly put their spin on the recall of Governor Walker and Lieutenant Governor Rebecca Cleefish by making this, of course, as we could have anticipated well in advance, a battle between parties. It's all about the parties. It's all about partisanship in the media lens. And doesn't that fit so well with our preconceived stereotypes? However, reality just does nudge itself in from time to time, asserts its ugly appearance. Uh, no, it is not, uh, clearly not a matter of Democrats versus Republicans, the traditional media tale uh, between the big spenders, the Democrats, and the tax cutters, the Republicans, headed up at the helm with by Governor Scott Walker. No, that's not quite the way things went down in Madison or in just about any other part of Wisconsin. Um, that is very convenient spin, but there's a wealth of evidence showing contrary-wise that, in fact, many independents, and Wisconsin is known for its independence, it's had as many as 15% of the entire voting population support a libertarian candidate in a gubernatorial election. Uh, so strong independent voice in Wisconsin. But uh, both independents and conservatives support the recall of Governor Scott Walker and Lieutenant Governor Rebecca Cleefish.